Hello, Leo. Welcome to your monthly reading for May 2023. This is for Leo, Sun, and Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional culture cross spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity to get more specific with your reading. Leo, I do this because I love you. I want you to feel like it's a personal reading as if we're here one-on-one -on -one, rather than a general spread. Lastly, I use astrology because it's been used for thousands of years. It's had major influence and in divination including tarot uh every tarot card is assigned an astrological element ruling planet ruling sign i mean we go really deep when the two are combined now leo this is a packed month there's a lot happening this month and there's a lot that you're gonna get excited about i don't even know where to begin okay why don't we begin with the fact that mars is going in your sign all right so that's actually gonna happen uh the third week okay what day is that may 20th all right so that's huge that's huge i mean you're gonna see a lot of action now two big things happening this month other than that all right and this is you're gonna freak out all right this is huge first things first we have a full moon lunar eclipse in scorpio on may 5th now this is not of this is not as great as the eclipse that we had last month okay something may be eclipsed out of your life all right uh this just happens and you know if you're leo rising it's going to resonate more but listen uh that eclipse is in your fourth house of home and so uh there could some of y'all could find out you're you have to move or something happened with your uh, place where you live where you got to do renovations some of y'all may be uh parting ways with a partner but think about uh it's actually Actually funny it's interesting link it back to the one uh the full moon lunar eclipse that we had may 15th 2022 okay so you could have actually heard you had to move you know months ago for some of y'all uh or again maybe deciding to move to a different city okay or even just if not moving just renovating your apartment doing something different with your apartment right eclipses are are game changers all right now the second thing that you need to know that's happening this month and this is the biggest thing that's happening this month okay jupiter is finally moving into taurus okay now if you've seen my past readings this has been a big thing for you and it is going to be a big thing for you all right what does this mean exactly for you jupiter and taurus well let me tell you leo taurus is your 10th house 10th house is career 10th house is fame public recognition honors achievements oh Mwah, chef's kiss uh, did i just do a chef's kiss i think i did leo listen who does that but this means from may 14th until may 2024 a whole year you are going to have the best career year you've had since 2011 Think back to 2011, 2012. That was the last time Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, good luck, prosperity, expansion, profit was in you uh, was in Taurus. Okay, again, ten thousand career, uh, 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 public image, public reputation, fame, honors, all of that, all of that. It's exciting, very exciting. Now, what's really interesting, and you're, this is, you're going to get a kick out of this, Leo. Um, I want you to think of May as a three-act play. I've been saying this for every sign, okay? Now, what's happening is that we, Mercury's retrograde, okay? Mercury is retrograde in Taurus. So, since April, a lot of y'all may have been thinking about shifts in career. Maybe you've been thinking, reassessing, like, is this the career, right career path for me? Or should I change this up? Will I be more successful if I do this? Uh, you've been rethinking, okay, things in, in your career, maybe even just like uh, 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 goals and, and your passions or even your, your reputation if you're like an influencer. Mm, should I should I do a TikTok account? You know, like things like that. You it, it's it's every Leo is different, right? Now, here's what it's crazy. Now that's the first act. The second act, May first, the Sun is gonna conjunct Mercury. We have a Kazemi that day, so this is halfway through the Mercury retrograde. So this day, around this time, you may have that moment of clarity, that aha moment where you're just like ah. 
I know what I have to do to fix this. Ah, I know what career path I want to be on. Ah, I know, you know, I know uh, this is now the time to ask for a raise, ask for a promotion, start my own business, uh, partner up with this company, right? So uh, again, this is going to resonate a lot with uh, with career, but it could be for any aspect of your life. I mean, it really just, it what resonates with you, okay? Now, the third act of the play, Mercury goes direct on May 14th, two days later, Jupiter moves into Taurus, okay? So it's almost like reevaluating some aspects of your life. You have that aha moment right in the middle, right on May 1st, and then boom, Jupiter comes in, clears the way for you. Clears the way for you and you get and you and, and you get all that luck and abundance in terms of this direction that you want to go. All right. So uh this is a big month, Leo. This is a really, really, really big month. One other thing I'm gonna tell you, Leo, that you will uh absolutely love is that uh Venus is actually moving into Cancer on May 7th. And so what's really interesting about this is Mars is already in Cancer. So from May 7th for two weeks, both Venus and Mars are in Cancer. Okay, so that's really special that's really special if you're single go out there go mingle i love this it's a very like compassionate uh placement it's really all about love 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 and passion and really uh like a nurturing element to that too as well so i really love that i really love uh what's happening this month there's you know there's a couple squares and i always say if you're new to my channel i leave all the key astrological dates in the description box and then secondly as you know if you are a subscriber Stay tuned to the end. After I do your spread, after I do your reading, I pull more cards. I break it down week by week, give you an idea of what to expect every week this month. And again, like I said, this is a loaded month. This is a loaded month. But a lot of y'all really, some of y'all will have some um, activity uh, with partners and careers, especially when you think about Pluto having moved into Aquarius. And Pluto is really at play this month, okay? that Remember, that's your seventh house of partnerships, okay? And so partnerships in career or love, all right? So uh, let's go ahead. Let's get to it. Leo, let's see what's going on for you for May 2023. Again, this is for Leo, Sun, and Rising. And as I always say, you are welcome to read your Moon, your Venus, anything else you want to. If you know your birth chart, what resonates with you, go for it. Go for it. All right? So let's go ahead and get started. And then remember, I do a traditional call to cross spread. <laughs> I don't know why I say remember. Uh, it really gives the best overview here. And if we need to pull clarifiers, we will pull clarifiers. Um... Leo, I'm already freaking out. You know what's really crazy, Leo, is that because of this full moon, let's talk, Leo, all right? I want you to feel like we're just friends talking on a couch now. What's crazy about this full moon is it's not a good full, or this eclipse is not a good eclipse, all right? And, you know, it, it's, it's really heavy. It's really deep. It's really, really emotional, okay? And I had this feeling that a lot of readings were just going to be like, oh, look at your spread. Look at your spread. Everything that I had just told you, everything that I had just told you before I pulled your spread, it's all here. It's all here. Let's get started. You got the moon. All right. You got the moon. Now, what's really interesting about this, and I'm going to, I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Remember how I talked about that partnership energy that's going to be big for y'all this month, whether love or career? Look. You got the two of cups. I, uh, hello. Uh, remember I said uh, Pluto and Aquarius is in your seventh house of partnerships? I mean, come on, come on. Uh, this is, uh, and then uh, there's a lot of activity happening with partnerships in your, in your, in, chart but anyway the the moon all right so this is really great uh you've been going through a transformative uh transformative uh past few weeks okay uh uh this is an affirmation of it actually if you think about saturn uh having moved into pisces which is a great placement for y'all by the way uh that was in your eighth house of transformation of death and rebirth okay and then remember this eclipse it's in it's in scorpio okay ruled by pluto all right so uh which is uh, death and rebirth. All right. So there's a lot of like newness happening for you this month. You're the crayfish here. All right. The moon. 
a lot of fear and distress associated with the moon when the moon card comes up all right you're that crayfish you gotta get out of that water you gotta get out of that you're you gotta get out of your head that you gotta move through the towers okay this card is just saying you gotta face your fears all right there could be uh, a lot of it's just uh, uh fears of your future is a big thing coming up energy that i'm uh getting uh but here's the thing it, it i you did you're good this the moon came in your past it came in your past all right and so it looks like this month you you're good you're absolutely wonderful look what you got in the heart of your spread you got the ace of pentacles when i say something new is happening for y'all y'all are going through transformation big thing with career some of y'all may be getting promotions new jobs new careers starting side hustles uh read thinking about your uh business or what uh you know your your career uh or your job or your role position uh in a way that you maximize and benefit boom you got the ace of pentacles this is the biggest pentacle all right in the deck aces usher in new change new beginnings new paths new journeys new opportunities coming through you see that golden pathway there you see the archway that really is a gateway into this new place in your life big big time big time this is money and wealth money and wealth i oh, i don't even know what to say this is amazing all right this is amazing especially if you work in a, a job where you have like commissions or bonuses uh that's it's a big thing okay especially with saturn moving into pisces in your eighth house that does rule other people's resources and a lot of y'all hey you may be actually meeting someone or moving in with someone or taking a relationship to the next level whether it's in work and business or home because when i say eighth house rules other people's resources that's also like if you were dating someone for a long time and then you got engaged or you know proposed to and now you're moving in together and you're sharing bank accounts that's other people's resources too all right inheritance is a big thing some of y'all could have gotten like a big bonus for or uh was it the money back from taxes anyway uh just know you're something new that's coming through in terms of money and wealth now pentacles are also earthbound okay so just in your physical reality all right here's the other thing you got the seven of pentacles uh, seven of wands but you got the seven of wands in your challenge area okay so be the leo that you are authoritative just lively be that leo do not lose sense of who you are this card is all about valor okay this card is all about valor standing your ground standing up for what you believe in standing up for everything that you've worked hard for you see the people coming after this man he's he's defending himself he's on like a slippery slope but hey he's doing a dang good job right of defending himself now when it comes in your challenge area hey don't let anyone take anything away from you, okay? Be the Leo that you are. You're a fire sign, okay? You're a fire sign and you're a fixed sign, okay? You're a fixed sign. You stamp your ground, all right? That's your big message for the month. Now, listen, two of pentacles in your crown, okay? Confirmation that some of y'all are going to be deciding between two things, all right? There is going to be uh, choices, okay? Uh, so th the biggest message there is a big choice that you're going to have to make this month. All right. And it does seem like it has to do with money, wealth, and even career. All right. This isn't a small choice, uh, you know, to duo, right? Duality. But, uh, it's not, uh, you know, I don't know if you know this, we make 36,000 decisions a day. Can you believe that? That's a lot. All right. Now this is not going to be a decision like, should I wear green or blue today? Okay. Should I order chicken or fish? Right. This is going to be a pretty significant decision that you're going to have to make because you see there's a lot of imbalance in this card okay uh you got to bring in that balance and and it's gonna have to be by dropping one of the pentacles or just putting your foot on the ground listen uh big message coming through for some leos it's going to be something new for you something that you've never had to be uh in uh you've had nothing like you haven't had to make this decision before that's going to be for some leos okay keep that in mind it, it could be something pretty new uh but also just remember even like if you think that you're taking on too much balance things out okay balance things out you got the knight of swords all right you got the knight of swords and the root of your spread now Uhtred, son of Uhtred. If you don't know who that is at this point, oh my goodness. If you if you get that reference, leave a comment. I want to know if you know. Secondly, if you don't know that who Uhtred, son of Uhtred is, just think of uh, Jon Snow, okay? Game of Thrones. Bold, 
courageous just going after like nothing can stop him he's actually going into the storm he's going into the storm all right now knights are fire they're very active swords are air okay the mental suit intellect logic what happens when you put fire and oxygen together Whoosh, right you're good all right so again be you be the leo that you are leos are so inspiring you know that right you are so inspiring you are authorities you are commanding you walk into a room people drop everything all right you're those leos now i love this because this is very remember you're you're moving through a transformational process now and to point something out here you see the butterflies right on his uh, uh, uh armor and then on the horse mm. there you go from caterpillar to i mean like come on this is transformational it's like your thoughts your movement you're like i know what i have to do i'm going for it i got this things are perfect perfectly clear for me and then boom in your in your future uh you got the two of cups now i i want you to remember this i want you to remember this because not only did i tell you that venus is going into cancer this is venus and cancer okay i want you to remember this never forget this if you are single go out there now start swiping right on your apps put yourself out there okay this is the card of true love this is the card of not even true love this is two becoming one this is love transcending time and space itself you i mean uh, this is, uh, we call, you know, this is in layman's terms, like the twin flame card. All right. The, uh, 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 soulmate card. So if you're single, boom, if you're in a relationship, boom, you're taking it to the next level. All right. We're talking proposal engagement. We're talking, if you've been married for 20 years, it's like rekindling that love. If you're not here for love in terms of romance, this is career too. Uh, remember, look at this. You got the ace of pentacles in, in the heart of your spread future all right so this is also career energy here okay finding the perfect job the perfect boss perfect colleague i mean ooh, this i love this for you leo oh my goodness leo i love this for you so much and this is you know uh have like an everlasting feel i i honestly think that some of y'all are going to meet your soulmates this month, especially because pluto and aquarius is in your seven thousand partnerships now now one other thing i'm going to point out you do see the caduceus between them right uh it really is it's a two serpents around the around the uh rod right if you're into yoga you would know that reference right the uh, kundalini it's a it's a driving life force through your seven chakras up to your like it, all through your body to the divinity all right the union of i mean like this is oh, leo you're amazing you're amazing and i'm i'm extremely happy for you i'm extremely happy for you this is absolutely amazing ace of pentacles the heart of your spread to a cups in your future boom you're good you're good let's get to your staff Leo, if you like this reading, it would be so great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. It really does help my channel grow. And, you know, I actually really love hearing from I, I look at I read everybody's comments. I love hearing from y'all. Y'all are amazing. Oh, my goodness. Um, secondly, if you are a subscriber, you know, I love you. Thanks so much for being here with me every week. You are amazing. I wouldn't even be here without you. So I really am grateful and I do appreciate it. So. Um, and I'm sorry, my dog couldn't join me. Someone left a comment last time. She's actually right here. I, if I just turned the camera, you would see her. She, uh, she's by my feet. And, you know, in New York City here, it's getting a little bit hotter. So she doesn't like being up here by the window where it's like a little bit hotter. So anyway, let's get to your stuff. Yeah, you are. I can't even. Uh, I don't even know what to say at this point. Boom. Hello. You got the high priestess all right speaking of that like uh uh, uh you got the moon all right we remember here and now uh that's all about you know with the moon but intuition too all right now you got the high priestess all right guardian of the subconscious right but she is when she comes out in your reading all she's telling you is go within all right that's what you need to do it's trust your intuition trust your intuition through all of this any decisions that you have to make uh, it, uh it, with the moon coming out of that you know fear energy or whatever uh if you've been going through that or even like anxiety or not knowing what's going on right but it, remember that's in your past okay that's in your past now the high priestess you see the little sliver of the moon down there all right so 
the high priestess she comes out when she says go within and trust your intuition you can see the book of torah right the book of law in her lap it's half failed you really have to go beyond your physical realm right the material realm to like know okay and that's why you go within all right so i really love this that she did come out because it looks like a lot of y'all are a lot of leos oh my goodness you are having those moments of just really really tapping within all right and i want you to if you're not i want you to do it this month okay you'll be surprised all right with like just how intuitive you are and just how uh your intuition can help you make you know sounder judgments and and better decisions when you touch when you're in touch with your intuition so i uh i really want that for you this month to just really really mm, like go within and, and especially because remember the first two weeks the first two weeks of, of, of May, we still have Jupiter in Aries, okay? And that is your ninth house of spirituality, all right? So you still have a lot of luck there. You have a lot of uh, time to take action in terms of, you know, your your beliefs and your philosophies and the way that you see things and really, really that spiritual level, like going into like another layer, another depth. Now, boom, in your external factors area, you've got the Ten of Wands, all right? This is a card of you. It's just saying that this month, you'll feel like, oh my goodness, I'm really going through it. This is a lot of burden. It's a lot of like backbreaking like work, all right? Uh, you've been working so hard, Leo. This is what it's saying. You've been working so hard to the point where uh, you uh, may not even, it, like when you work too much, I'm getting the energy of you uh, uh, pulling other people's responsibilities too. Uh, it's not great for you. Okay. I want you to know that it's not great for you. Uh, when you do that, because you can see here, if you're, if you're working too much, if you're overworking, all right, it really does affect, uh, uh, the way that you can see, he can't see where he's going. Okay. So it really just has a uh, capacity to, kind of like work against you. All right. When you're taking on too much, but 10 is the end of the suit came in your external factors area all right so you can expect to be laying those wands down soon all right this is a month where yeah <laughs> you're good you're good you saw that i pulled a clarifier you got the ace of swords you're good you're absolutely good the you first of all this is your second ace all right now this is saying this is coming to the end. Remember, aces usher in that new change. So you're starting this new cycle. You're laying those wands down. All that hard work, that blood, sweat, and tears, like overworking, burden, even burnout energy, gone. Because remember, I said you're going to have that moment of clarity this month, okay? There you go. Ace of swords. Swords are the mental suit again. Remember, there it's, it's our logic, intellect, but, and you got the knight of swords here, all right? And so the, you see the crown and the, re, I mean, this is like victory, success. This is having a mental breakthrough. And this is also uh, very communicate. Remember, communication is related. You could be getting some news, some great news after, you know, uh, for this new cycle coming through. Uh, this is absolutely amazing for you. This is absolutely amazing for you. I'm actually very excited for you. Some of y'all are signing contracts this month. If you do, if you sign a contract this month and it is very 90 like percent likely some of y'all are going to be signing new contracts uh based on your reading um and the fact that you know uh we have a lot of activity in your astrologically um try to avoid signing contracts until mercury goes direct and that's going to be on may 14th okay so avoid signing contracts until after may 14th all right now you got the Knight of Cups. So not only did you get the Two of Cups, you got the Knight of Cups and also your second Knight. All right. So Leo, come on. You're amazing. You're amazing. A lot of y'all are going to feel so good this month. All right. This is a Knight who is, he's like so laid back and so 
like cool right uh but he's also the most romantic he's like the 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 prince charming the knight in shining armor okay now this knight really just wants to fill his cup all right so very romance related here uh again you did get the two of cups in your future okay you got the eight of pentacles in the heart of your spread remember that's money and wealth but also your physical world some a new pathway right leading up to the two of cups all right so now you have the knight of cups who is just very romantic and so a lot of y'all are hoping for this relationship all right to come through a lot of y'all are hoping to take your relationship to the next level to you know really be in the zone with that remember venus and mars together together in cancer for two weeks this month okay now uh the other thing i'm going to say is that if you're not here for love again career related or any of your passions for that matter cups is you know emotions uh right things that you love love feeling good like uh wonderment too uh look I'm going to show you something. You see, not only is he wearing the wings of imagination on his helmet and his shoes, but you see the fish all over his armor. All right. Fish, creativity, imagination. I mean, this is like absolutely amazing if there's something that you want to do on a creative level. Uh, but also when I say creativity, I don't want you to think that it's limited to the arts. A lot of people just immediately associate it with like movies or creative writing or whatnot. Think about creativity and like solving problems or sending out a resume that, you know, doing it differently. Or if you're going on a first date, being creative about, you know, uh, how do like, how do I make this date really, truly memorable? Now, you got the two of ones. So this is absolutely amazing. In your final outcome, ruled by Aries. I really love this for you. All right. So what's really interesting about this card is that you see that he has the world in his hand. All right. So uh, this is, and he's standing at the highest point in the castle. So there's a lot of power here. He's, his cap is red, passion and power. All right. So I want you to think of two things here. How funny, because it's two. All right. Do it. Remember, you got the two of pentacles as well. All right. And then you also got the high priestess. So you got a lot of twos here with that. Oh, and then the two of cups. Oof. If you're into numerology, hello, there you go, duo, duality. But listen, here's the thing. This two of ones, this is you setting out, planning your next journey, all right? There's, you're moving into a definitely, you'll, you're moving into a brand new place in your life, whether it's relationship, whether it's career, whether it's family, home, I mean, whether it's all of it, okay? Whether it's all of it. But this is a lot of planning your next step. Think of like... Um, Think of this man who's like conquered the world. He's got the world in his hand, right? He's conquered the world. And now he's standing at the highest point in his castle, looking out at sea with the world in his hand. And he's like, okay, I've conquered the world. Now what's next, right? So this is absolutely amazing, okay? Because it looks like there is all this new stuff coming through. Leo, you're amazing. I love you. You're absolutely amazing. Now, as I promised, I break it down week by week. Let's see what's going on for you every week this month, the first week of May, May 1st. As I said, we have that Mercury Kazemi. Ooh, really great, like light bulb moment energy, uh, if, if not on that day, around that date, okay? And then May 5th, we have that full moon uh, lunar eclipse, all right? That's going to happen in Scorpio, all right? Really deeply intense, intense energy there, all right? And then May 7th, Venus is a uh, moving into cancer so at this point both mars and venus all right you know they're they're uh they're gonna be together in the same time for two weeks very rare so let's go ahead and get started let's see what's going on for you for the first week of may leo oh my gosh you're good you're getting everything you want this is the card of satisfaction. This is the, I call it the genie in a bottle energy. This is the wish coming true. You see the cups aligned over his head. That's a lot of enlightenment, okay? A lot of enlightenment. Look how satisfied he is, all right? Look how satisfied he is. This is like, you're good. You're good. That's a lot of cups. Nine cups? Come on. Remember, cups, emotions, love. Like, you're good. You're getting the things that you want, okay? You're getting the things that you want, especially with this eclipse happening. Uh game-changing huge huge and again if you see something that is unfavorable it was meant to happen okay because it's making room for all this newness to come in Ooh, ooh, i love it now the second week of may 
Uh, there's a lot happening this week. Mercury goes finally goes direct. Okay, that's gonna happen on uh, Mother's Day here in the U.S. All right, uh, but there's a lot of like Saturn's really active this week, and Venus is really active this week. All right, Venus trining Saturn is actually on May 12th, and that's a big day because Mercury is sextiling Venus and Mercury sextiling Saturn. I mean, oh my goodness, this is that's just you're gonna be you're you're this is a great week it's a great week so let's go ahead and see what's going on for you for um the second week of may oh my god look at you leo look at you who are you who are you where come on you got the empress i don't even i mean like this is like a mic drop this is a mic drop reading uh the empress so here we go let's go uh uh I already said that Venus is very, very active. Venus is in Cancer. Venus is with Mars. Now, Empress, ruled by Venus. You can actually see the symbol of Venus right here in her stone-shaped heart, okay? Now, this is all about passion. This is all about pleasure. This is all about, you know, sensuality, sexuality. This is your soul glorified. This is uh, uh, everything, all right? This is Miss Universe here, all right? The divine feminine. This is everything this is abundance galore abundance galore now uh what's really interesting here is that not only is it coming after the nine of cups but remember you have all this new stuff coming through and three is not only like growth advancement development but three is creation the birth of new things all right especially because the empress is pregnant okay some of y'all actually may find out you're pregnant uh if you do it's going to be a boy. Okay? That's great. Yeah, some of y'all will find out you're pregnant or may want to become pregnant. Um, but if you do, some of y'all will have a boy. That's really amazing. Uh, but even still, birth of new things, creation, new beginnings. You got the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Right after that, you got the Two of Cups. You have the Ace of Swords here. You got two Aces, and then there you go, the Two of Wands in your final outcome. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, you're killing it. You're killing it, Leo. Now, the third week, the biggest week of May. I don't even know how. Okay, let's go. Let's do it, all right? Jupiter moving into Taurus. Remember, it's going to be there for an entire year in your 10th house. The 10th house, fame, career public recognition, achievements, honors. If you look at, I do like one celebrity reading a week and most of the celebrities have a bundle of planets in their 10th house. I mean, like when I say fame, like being recognized, like in, in whether it's like at work, it on a global scale, it within your career, uh, even at home, family, in your neighborhood. Uh, and then so... Three days after that, we have the new moon in Taurus, and I'm gonna we're gonna talk about this really, really closely when I do my weekly reading, okay? Because this new moon in Taurus, how big is it? The moon is in Taurus, the sun is in Taurus, Jupiter's in Taurus, Mercury's in Taurus, and Uranus is in Taurus. Now remember what I said: Taurus is your tenth house of career. When this is a new moon, new beginnings. And then Mars goes into your sign um, the day after. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, my goodness. That is like fiery and passionate. Oh, gosh. This is amazing. Risk taking, too. Take some risks. But listen, this is absolutely. Uh, oh, and then we go to Gemini season on May 21st. Oh my goodness, like Leo, this is, and you know, Gemini is a great placement for y'all. I mean, like Sun and Gemini for Leo's fire and air go so well together, but let's go ahead and see what's going on for you for the third week of May. Oh my God. Leo. This is your big, this is your best reading of all time. This is your best monthly reading of all time. I'm going to show you something here. When this happens, when you get the magician, the high priestess, and the empress, when this happens, it's special. It's rare. I don't think I've ever done a reading where they've gotten the magician, the high priestess, and the empress. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say at this point, Leo. This is your best monthly reading. Uh, I would even say your best reading of all time. Uh, anyway, the magician. Hey, remember what I said, that new moon in Taurus? 
There you go. There you go. Nubia, you're st you have the power to manifest whatever you want. Whatever you want. This is the week that Jupiter goes into Taurus. This is the week that Mars goes into your sign. This is the week that we have that new moon in Taurus. Leo, I can't. I can't. He has the power to manifest anything he wants. He's got all tools of tarot. You decide where do you want to manifest that energy? Do you want more money? Do you want, is it toward family, relationships, love? I mean, he's got the cups. He's got the swords. He's got the wands. He's got the pentacles. Anything you want. As above, so below. As look, you see this a symbol of infinity over his head. Come on, Leo, you, you're blowing me away. You're blowing me away now. Uh, just put action. The magician is a card of action. Yeah, uh, as in you know, the high priest is more passive, right? All that intuition, but magician is like very active. Okay, very active. I like. I honestly just do not know what to say at this point. I mean. Uh, you're good. Just take action toward the things that you want. You got the nine. You got the nine of cups. I mean, you're gonna. You're. I'm like. I'm like getting speechless here. Uh, last week of. Oof. There you go. I mean, do we want to keep this? It flipped over. <laughs> there you go. I mean, this is okay. There you go. I don't even know what to say. This is the card of. Um, celebration okay this is a card of joy this is a card of milestone this is the hurrah card okay so remember uh so the last week of may there's a, there's a lot of different alignments and again nothing like truly major it's um the biggest thing that's actually happening is venus sextiling uranus which is like love is in the air love 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 and surprising uh, moments with love and there you go you just got the card of milestones this is getting married this is moving into a new home this is getting a new job this is getting you know uh, uh uh having a baby this think milestone i mean this is the four of wands you're golden i don't even know what to say i mean this is absolutely absolutely insane this is absolutely insane you got the ace of pentacles in the heart of your spread you got the two of uh cups in your future you got the ten of wands saying any burden stress burnout is coming to an end and ace of swords something new coming through you're going to be getting a message some sort of contract too two of wands and your final outcome starting this new journey and then you've got uh then uh, like look at this not only did you get the magician card number one the high priestess card number two the empress card number three you also got the nine of cups wish coming true four of wands celebration joy milestone leo talk to me talk to me tell me how you feel what's going on in your head i want to know you're amazing you're amazing there's not you're amazing this is absolutely like you see that like the only thing that like the moon came in your past okay but remember you have the seven of ones in your challenge area it's just saying don't let anyone take anything be the leo that you are that is the biggest message that's coming through don't let anyone take anything that you've earned that you've worked hard for like stand your ground like this is absolutely amazing absolutely amazing you've blown my mind here i can't i mean like this has never happened this has never happened leo you're amazing thanks so much for tuning in oh my goodness okay 37 minutes um thanks so much for tuning in sorry i know that went way over but leo you're amazing i love you so much again if you're new to my channel it'd be great if you like subscribe leave comments even if you are a subscriber um i love hearing from y'all and then if you are a subscriber you know i love you thank you so much for being here i will see you next week have an amazing i mean i'm very excited for y'all this month very excited for y'all i'll see you next week okay bye bye